Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, today's uh, daily brief, Saturday, 26th of December. So the synoptic situation, <clears throat> now, as of midnight last night, we've got this um, uh, occluded front that's uh, heading very, very slowly east of us. And uh, note the pressure here, 1043, it's a very, very high pressure. And it's left us in this slack-ish, very moist, westerly type flow at the moment. Uh, midday today, uh, the front has clearly moved a lot further away, uh, but high pressure is still there. And I think the issue we're mainly going to have today really is going to be getting rid of uh, any of the uh, low level mist type cloud around us. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, looking forward to midnight uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, tonight, sorry, and tomorrow we're going to be clear of the fronts. All the bad weather is actually going to be over Scotland, which is going to be nice, and we should be left in a fairly reasonable uh, southwest uh, southwesterly flow. Spot winds are indicating uh, flying winds, twenty-five knots. So there, there are knots from the south. Well, two four zero smack between our our two runs. The surface winds more around uh, two two six, um, but it's fairly steady throughout the day. 250, 240, that sort of direction. And the cloud for cloud sat pick, you can see here, there's a dregs of that front, that, that occluded front that's gone through now. But it is, although it, is, it looks reasonably clear here, there's a lot of uh, mist and fog associated with that, which is very, very slow to clear. So we'll have to monitor that for sure. On the positive side, the rain radar isn't indicating any rain around here. You wouldn't expect it to. But as we know, if we just walked into the building 10 minutes ago, uh, it's very low cloud, very misty, and it's not very pleasant at the moment. Actual uh, rainfall, as we speak, um, is indicating fairly clear again. I say I don't think rain's going to be the problem per se. Today it's going to be the low cloud and uh, getting high enough to be able to safely uh, get into the air. Bentworth local forecast um, is overcast all day, predominantly a very low chance of rain. This backs up what we were saying earlier, temperature around about 10 degrees, wind from the west southwest. Visibility notice is increasing greatly after around about 12 o'clock. And this is the sort of window of opportunity I think we'll be able to maximise on today. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how that goes later. Uh, top, um, GFS, top temperature day, 10, 11 degrees there, thereabouts, with the dew points down at uh, about eight or nine degrees. So the two temperatures are very close there. The uh, webcam's not playing too much this morning, but if we look at the actual weather at last moment, uh, nine degrees, dew point seven, and southerly wind, south southwesterly wind, about 10 knots. Problem with that, of course, is it's not blowing this rubbish away very fast. Um, local TAF Odium is they're giving 10 knots from the southwest uh, mist. Uh, their forecast is out of date, so I can't uh, talk about that too much. And Farnborough is very, very similar. 8,000 metres, broken cloud at 500 feet and loud and light drizzle. And again, their actual forecast has not been updated yet. If you look at the top meteo uh, down here where we are now, so this is now at nine o'clock and then running through uh, there's no real significant change. We're getting more fog, probable fog uh, in this area. And even up till one o'clock, two o'clock, we're starting to get um, back end of the bad or low cloud disappearing. And maybe later on today, about four o'clock, we may get a slightly better window. But I I'm not 100% convinced about this. We obviously have got other data at our disposal, and I think it's probably going to be slightly better than what Top Meteo is sort of indicating. Um, no TAMs today. Well, no, no TAMs are going to affect us uh, for sure. So let's uh, think about our uh, operation today then. Um, the wind is smack between 2.3 and 2.7. I think the wind veering with height, if we remember our MET theory, I think we'll probably plan on setting up on 2.7. Uh, it'll be a wet operation. By that, I mean we'll have the launch point set up on the northern side of uh, the centre line. The winds will be down at the usual place, 
uh, down there. And what we'll be doing is uh, running the cables literally up the side of the runway using the truck and uh, stopping at the gliders. Any winching we'll do will be on the, uh, any aerotone we'll do will be on the northern side as normal. Now, what the wet operation is going to mean is where possible, we're going to be landing, uh, we'll be doing a southerly circuit uh, to come around and land uh, on the hard behind uh, behind the box. I don't want gliders rolling up to a stop literally at the back of the box. You know, there'll be fire trucks and gliders over there. So coming, coming in sensibly and stopping well shorter there. Anything on the north side, please go around and do a northerly circuit and land on the grass. That's about the only reasonable bit of grass we have. Obviously, if the runway is blocked, then you can land down uh, on this side area. It's fine, but just be aware it's very the grass is very, very soft. Um, the problem we noticed yesterday, or I certainly noticed, I did six flights pretty well landing on the grass all the time, is please, where possible, do not use the wheel brake of the glider. You're on the grass, the grass is wet, and uh, all you're doing is producing beautiful furrows in the, gro in the grass, uh, which could take weeks, if not months, to... Uh, uh, to go away. So if you land on the grass, just really don't use the wheel brake to slow the glider down. We've got plenty of vehicles to, to collect you for sure. Uh, operationally today, um, no movements have been reported to my knowledge. I think we'll probably get a thing di hang the doors open and plan to set up, up on 2-7. Uh, but of course, we can change our mind at the last minute. There's a beauty of operating uh, in that particular area. Um, Sam and myself will be outside and I think it's sort of sit and wait for a while. I'd like to get the gliders ready to go out. We've certainly got a full program, um, but be prepared to get out quite quickly if and when this weather does clear through and uh, we'll make the most of it. So I'll see you all a little bit later. Thank you. Bye.